Don't forget to wear ink when they find an appreciation post. It is Katy Perry. Art and Cold. Now, why Art and Cold? Well, it's a really good song, first of all. Second of all, I'm, I put, I'm gonna put it on while we're doing the video. That way it seems more authentic, it seems more original. And I know what the fuck I'm talking about because I should do this more often. Um, why Art and Cold? Katy Perry is a phenomenal artist, first of all. She has uh, a multiple hit that was on the billboard. You can dislike the person, the artist. You can dislike the uh, uh, the persona. But you gotta say that somebody with that amount of success kind of deserve it. There was this whole video with the I think. Do I give a fuck? No, I give a fuck about the artist, not uh, what's going on in their life. Sorry. Um, so yeah, so I think Cold. I remember I think Cold was. Mm. Was well, a time where I Kissed a Girl was probably the last song that was really popular on radio as I listened to radio. Right? I'm an old man. I'm an old man. So then we had um, Art and Cold. And I remember Art and Cold from grade uh, 11. I would go with, at the gym with uh, my boys from school. What you thought I was going to say? From the boy was from the work. I was 16. Bruh. Um, and yeah, I remember this song being played at the radio so often. And now I know what you're thinking. Oh, Inky. A song about some um, toxic relationship in the gym. It was the early 2000s. It was better. It was way better. It was so much better. Sorry. Uh, this is my opinion. And if you don't agree. So Art and Cold was phenomenal. It was a song about a girl who... Oh my god, bro. Oh my god. Katy Perry is actually super talented. I'm a big fan of, um, of Pink. Uh, so Katy Perry somehow made me think of her, right? And it was odd because I, I kept on thinking about um, Pink when I listened to the song. And um, it was about a girl who was unstable. I was a guy who was a stubble. It was a girl who wanted to fall in love. I was a guy who wanted to fall in love. Uh, my biggest issue back then, I was in love with this one girl, right? Sabrina. And uh, I didn't have the balls to tell her, right? And um, she would be super sweet with me, but someday she wouldn't be, she would be not as sweet, right? And um, probably trying to have not name her, but hey, what is what the odd that you're watching this fucking video right now? And um, I was always, I, I was always out and cold. And it's about a girl who, who doesn't know how the guy feels. And I think it's such a, it's something that we know. We don't know how other people feel. There's something that you're gonna be in a relationship called a doctor. Got a case of love bipolar. Used to come a uh, coaster. Can't make up this bra. And you change your mind like a boy change his channel i had to do it bro i had to do it and so that's what the song was about a toxic love and not knowing what your partner is and um the the, the frustration that can the, the frustration where you have an oncoming creative partner it, it has a lot of frustration you like are you happy are you sad uh, what's going on through you and you you, you want to keep asking them what is going on with you but then you don't want to be look like a crazy person that's always wondering what is it because if you're in a relationship you said trust them you should trust them that if they're not happy they will tell you but then again if they're not talking um it's hard to understand and it's I think cold is more, it does seem like it's more about uh, the person who's nice and not nice, but it's more about the uh, the non-verbal verbalization she wondering, right? Um, <laughs> Up and you're down. This is a great song, bro. I, I have so many. So this is one of the songs where, uh, sadly, I have so many memories with this song. And the memory trumps... I, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to say it. I'm, I'm going to come out and say it. Um, the song actually... Um, it's 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 almost as if the memories trump the talent. It's almost as if memory trumps everything else. Um, like it's a good song. It's not that you like personally. Like, um, if there's some em em emotion, it's some memory tied to it, and then it becomes something that's um a a part of you. And the song that I'm singing, and the song that I'm reviewing, are part of me. So yeah. I think it's just phenomenal. It's just phenomenal to have this. Just, just phenomenal to be, uh, to be aware of a reality where a song is gonna make you feel that type of way because you have emotion tied to it. And this is what the often called is to me. It could be a shitty song I will never know because it's a song I grew up with, a song that I like, and a song that I still like. As always, I like you guys. See what I did there? See what I fucking did there? You didn't? Check again. Watch again. Watch my other shit. Love you guys. Peace.